Running ultra marathons has allowed me to explore my limits in so many incredible and inspiring places around the globe. From the peaks of Andorra to the depths of the Copper Canyon, to glacial valleys of China and more, I'm continually drawn to these equally brutal and breathtaking experiences. What the? We're now bringing that same sense of wonder and adventure to my home state with a route across the heart of central Arizona's most historic towns, desert canyons, and mountain landscapes. In 2019, I scouted over 200 miles of the Cocodona route with my good friend, Anthony Culpepper. This is that story. Yeah, I think the last day there was not a lot of footage period because of two things. One, I think I was just ready to be done. <laughs> So I wasn't turning the camera on as much. And two, our crew missed us. The film team missed us early on in the day. I think didn't have their satellite devices on or something. We were communicating via those. I don't know how it happened. For some reason, we crossed paths in a different spot and, and never saw them. So I remember we were pretty low. It was probably also because of the road access too and the mud up there, but we were pretty low on supplies by the time we ran into some of our crew. And I think we were uh, a little tuckered out at that point. Kick it off. Really exciting one. Everyone's really chipper. <laughs> really doing great. <laughs> Last day, guys. Anti-climatic. Yep, I'm gonna try to follow you guys for a sec. <laughs> Looking a little stiff, dude. See you guys in a few hours. Have fun. We headed out early before dawn the next morning and got driven out there and got dropped off at the base of Kasner Mountain. So we skipped a few miles of dirt road, headed straight up first thing in the morning. And the roads up there in Coconino Plateau were completely saturated with water from the previous day. You've got a, oh, yeah. and I can't tell if it drops down again. Because um, we got to get up to the that next oh, level. Right. Like Somewhere. Like where that plateau is, that's what we're gonna be running across, basically. So, it's just gonna be one of those like slow grind up hills. It's definitely an interesting way to enter into Flagstaff. It is, man. It's it's really like a world class, unbelievable route. All right, we're on the Kasner Mountain Road. It bisects uh, two different wilderness areas. We got Sycamore on this side. And then right there we have Secret Mountain, Red Rock Secret Mountain. Pretty amazing. Right there, that's gonna be my favorite spot in the whole course.
I mean, this is one of the, like the crowning points of this course. I really like this. <laughs> I know. It's just like icing after icing and no cake. It's all icing. It's a different type of clay soil up there and we were trudging through the thickest mud that you could ever imagine and it was a, kind of a hilarious way to start the day. We thought we would be making such good time once we got up on the rim and back on some forest roads, and it was the furthest thing from that. I mean, there is a, there is a growth now in these, um, you know, 200 plus type mile ultras. And that's, I'm, I'm psyched to see that, you know, as a, as a, as a, as a lifetime ultra runner now, it seems uh, that, you know, we're always looking for that thing to kind of push ourselves and experience this sport in, in different ways. And these longer events, you know, provide that opportunity to, you know, push yourselves, push yourself beyond like that 24 hour, that 48 hour mark um, into, you know, experience, ultra running in in that it also gives us an, a, 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 an avenue to experience more of a landscape and you know Cocodona I hope does that for folks that where you are experiencing this you know incredible cross-section of what Arizona is over the course of 200 250 miles You know, I'm a native Arizonan and grew up in Phoenix, live in Phoenix, and Flagstaff is always the place that us Phoenicians go to escape to the mountains. It's a couple hours north on the highway and it's, it's a destination in, in northern Arizona. And there's just, it does have a smaller town feel to it. It's still a pretty big city, but it's got an awesome downtown. It's got an amazing backdrop of incredible volcanic mountains and it just seemed like the fitting place to end this route and and really this is all about connecting the desert to the mountains and phoenix to flagstaff and by way of these other amazing historic towns in arizona and to me there's no better place or proper place to finish this than than in Flagstaff and in downtown Flagstaff, right amongst everything that goes on. You know, I've got lots of memories of downtown Flagstaff over the years, all, time, all different times of the year, from snow to summer and, and in between. And uh, it's a chance for us to begin in a new chapter of memories that the running community is now gonna have in that area. And you're gonna have traversed an incredible landscape and set of, of towns and experiences along the way to get there. Yeah, my hope is that all of the towns along this race course embrace the Cocodona 250, but I think out of them all, Flagstaff already is such a mecca for not only elite road runners, but now trail ultra runners and just recreational runners of all abilities. So I think it really is, out of all the towns involved, it's already a running town. And for the race to finish there, I can only hope that it is embraced by all of the community up there and that everyone can be proud of the event and, and what it is and where it finishes.
Thanks, guys. I appreciate you being out here this week. Thank you. Thank you. Well, shall we? Let's go get beer, man. Shall we uh, bury this thing and never talk about it again, or should we proceed? What's the vote? Or should we talk about it over beers at Dark Sky? Definitely beers.